Action Sports Mad Gear Chandler, Arizona. I don't know if this is the model number two what I got and all that stuff, but I do know that, that this is the company I got it from. So madgear2ds.com action sports Chandler Arizona. Alright, so the welcome deck is pretty dope. It's like 10.5. So I got this guy off the internet. It's pretty low, but it's eight foot three inches, and it was only a hundred bucks on Amazon. All the other ones are shorter and more expensive, for sure. And it's a round row, and it holds my weight. It's pretty dope. While these guys do their thing. So first few goes seem pretty sticky. It's like a rough paint. It's not a, it's not a uh, slick material. So a little wax on the board, but got this guy. That's what we'll do for now. Also why I want to try out rails again. I've gone through like a year's progression. Last Christmas I learned how to board slide right here in the front yard. But I would like to go back to trying to do rails because I did no rails. I did rails. I liked rails for ledges and for like slappy curves, but not for rails on like handrails and stuff. So I might go back to that and try that out front. Dude, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. If you are doing at home skateboarding, the skate company is super awesome. So it's an off brand. Don't forget it's an off brand action sports. I'll tag it in the stuff, but action sports on Amazon, eight foot three inch rail was 99 bucks. Best rail I've seen. All the other flat bars and round bars don't really compare. Didn't move. I'm 190 pounds and on my bales and all that stuff. I got faith to hit grinds too, not just board size now in case it moves. And uh, super awesome for just doing a session at home with the kiddos.